Um, so, looks like we're good. I uh, had a little bit of issue with the microphone, but without further ado, uh, my name is Ray Paraka, Managing Editor of EntertainmentBuddha.com, and I'm going to be playing through the first chapter episode of Telltale Games' Game of Thrones. I know nothing about it other than Tyrion is in it. I think Cersei's in it. And I'm fairly certain that everyone I love and care about in the following two hours is going to die. So, uh, let's jump right on in. Let's do it. For those of you that are uh, watching, too, any questions or whatever or comments, just throw them at me. I'm happy to do some decision making with you. <laughs> I look just like Jon Snow. It's pretty crazy. Um, just want to go into the settings and turn the subtitles on first because I know in Tales from the Borderlands they did not default to on automatically. And I'd rather do that now before heads start getting chopped off. Alright, let's do this. I really like the, I guess, like, oil painting looking art they have going. It's pretty rad. I would definitely live in a place called Wolfswood. That's for for sure. All right, so I guess uh I almost wish that Telltale did a little bit of a different art style for this. I don't know. I, it all kind of blends together. That's weird. The forced letter boxing title cards. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Polishing a sword. Cleaning a sword. Ah, it's a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. Don't be an arse. And if we're being honest. Oh, don't be an arse, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had hand in it, you know. And him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. You think he's lying? No one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right. 
Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Damn, Norrin some, across the battle. Some solid shit talking. Solid fantasy shit talk. Let your cup. The night we celebrate. To Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, king in the, the king north. In the north. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock. Oh man, I'm, a, I'm going with the North remembers. The North remembers. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall Drugs, I reward you? Preferably. Your what can I offer you? To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than Shit. those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I, I have a feeling I'm going to let him down. I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. And I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go. And find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. Not for I long, bitch. It's really weird. I don't know. I don't read the um, the Game of Thrones books, but uh, I do watch the show, so it's really strange to be playing this or seeing it play out and uh, seeing like, oh, casual conversation, just two guys kind of chilling since everything on the show is so effing dramatic and heads are lopped off and all that stuff. Big shit, shovel and slop. Well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by bacon. Much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walters. <laughs> in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. This is a pretty, uh... 
actually a really cool place to sort of start, huh? He finds it, Willie Osborn, for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Has gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Sorry, Bowen. You, I don't. I didn't like Bowen. Oh. Good luck. Yeah. Whatever. See, like I probably already made. I'm. I'm probably gonna be 0 for one on uh serious Game of Thrones life decisions. That's Roger. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Telltale does do a very good job despite all of their games being fundamentally similar mechanically. Changing things up, changing things up, even in the fact that I played Tales from the Borderlands two days ago for a review, and then going right into this, um, a lot of the actions are different. Shield bash, fucking stuffed. Sir Mutton Chops to the rescue. Oh shit. <laughs> Dude got bodied. just died. There's your lesson, kids. Don't, uh, don't take your hand off the controller while playing. Oops. Hey Hirsch, what's up, man? But there was How's it going? I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon. 
quickly. Word, is it slow uh, tonight at work? Yeah, fuck this dude. So I never did bother to pick up that sword, apparently. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. Let me know too, Hersha, if the audio needs to get changed one way or the other, okay? Command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those fucking foresters! We love to the fray. It's just a, a rough night for all parties involved, man. Just. Oh, this is sick as shit. That's so cool. Iron from lice. Lord. Fresh. Dead pig. Fresh. This guy is given a few, like, really stupid fucking facial <laughs> expressions so far. It's only been like, what, five minutes? Nice little teleport to shopping cart there. That's father's car. Lord Bolton. 
Sultan better give us fucking no. titles for this. Thinks it may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I won't lie in that I definitely am not liking him so far. Move along, boy. Oh, am I gonna get to see my favorite? I said move oh, I will. I will straight up. I'm gonna try to murder all of these dudes. Yeah, it's so much. Ramsey's gonna come out of nowhere. You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton. Michael is Bolton Lord is who he's referring to, clearly. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Oh shit, intense sword fighting action. I'll have that sword, boy. Guy looks a lot like Jamie Lannister, doesn't it? Fuck you. Some sick facial hair in this game so far, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's pitchfork him. Oh, that was awesome. Sorry if there's a little delay between my mic and the, uh, and the video, but that was pretty amazing. <laughs> A shin snap. That's it. Please, I beg of you. All right, should we let him go or not? Let him go or not? I have no quarrel with you. I was only following orders. Fuck it. Why don't uh, had plenty of opportunity to kill that dude too, I think, but whatever. I did get to pitchfork a guy through the throat, so that's pretty much the most uh amazing thing that's happened Father? to me in a while. Garrett, you survived. Uh oh. Your sister. She hid. Some weird texture stuff going on I've in the background. I don't know if it's supposed to match the oil painting kind of vibe, or like whatever that is behind my dad looks. It looks kind of awful, but I'll kill the men who did this. I already killed two thirds of them. That looks really good though, damn. That's what's up. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! So I guess my, um... Those guys just popped in, wow. Garrett. My uncle is... Someone important, but my dad's a pig I farmer. They were already dead. Bring the uh, I'm not sure Meet how that works, but Quickly. whatever. Um, I am probably 20, 25 minutes in. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family, and for what? My sister, she, she was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. 
Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Ooh. the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal <sighs> greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this the late lord forrester was a good man it's poor roderick a serious man but he would have made a good lord our house will never fall by the gods let's hope you're right the future of this house is in lord ethan's hands now although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead so when they put maggots in your wound, does he stitch it up over the maggots? Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Ugh. Damn, didn't even phase me. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Let's look at this sick picture. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. It sucks that he was the best warrior because he got it was an honor to squire wrecked in that battle. Gregor the Good. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. He says, uh, suppose a lot. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. That's a shitload of maggots. Let's touch it. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. No, I dis I'll disagree. This might help. Mm. 
Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well... It's the most logical explanations explanation I've ever heard. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady ladies, Forrest. ladies, ladies. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... So sorry. NATO. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Damn. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage. So, so what do you guys think so far? But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Edward Stark was smart. Damn, shots fired at Ned. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye, you'll say it was justice, they'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place the wall. beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? 
The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. This day would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair. Yeah, but I bet but if I go to the wall, best. I get to meet my dude Jon Snow, so it's all worth it in the end. That settles it, settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and, and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well-deserved, Gareth. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. What? I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Can't wait to have some fun shenanigans at the wall. I am from ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. She wants Garrod's uh, long sword. I can already tell I'm going to hate this dude, Ethan. Could find him. Could you? We 
hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. Ryan sounds like a pretty big I idiot. Promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. Gareth is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Gareth did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls oh, you a milksop. Oh, sick salt. burn. Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick. I think Asher, Asher is a pretty badass for name for a Game of Thrones character. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I can't wait to uh, both, to break this promise, because I don't know anything about how I am. But so the second I make a decision, she'll get pissed off and you say I changed. But I suppose. Whatever. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I can have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. You have to understand. Being lord is a great responsibility. I can't just fool around. Thank you for that, Roderick. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Everyone they showed looks up just announced. pretty angry Lord all the White time so far, Lord. too. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. 
is, was. It makes no difference. The White Hills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. about to go into this big dick swinging. And the backing of House Bolton. All the more Drop some knowledge on some ourselves. White Hills. Or White Halls, whatever they were. Guy looks like a baby back bitch. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, <laughs> old man. You little fuck! Yeah, it is, bitch. you talk to a lord, you foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I think this is the only video game I can think of that drops a hard C-bomb in it. Things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of Dude, he is so men. pissed. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forrester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill.
<laughs> just got mean mugged by a dude with a fucking bowl cut. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. She looks kind of dopey. Even made this for me. Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Wonders Made by Man, by Lomas Longstrider, a gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. One moment. One moment. Sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Is that a short person or a little person? Okay, just a short person. Begging your pardon, milady, but you're all right. If you don't mind my asking. You seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. What a stupid question that was then. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Did they get the uh the they actual voice they actors for those? Sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but for Tyrion and Cersei and everyone? Dropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and 
I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, milady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. <laughs> yeah, I the third, any or the handmaiden the behind us so is near. creeping me out. Do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. I see my boy Tyrion though. You can do this. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. God, she looks so smug even in the Girl game. Her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet? For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. 
Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you, if you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. <laughs> Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with... I'm just sort of sitting there thinking how much it would suck to really themselves. be in this girl's situation Tell right now. something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? I must choose Marjorie. Yeah, get fucked. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her Kill her, I don't straight. care. She is a threat to the crowd, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust me, <laughs> Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I don't particularly like her. <laughs> that was fairly apparent to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. 
She takes great pleasure in her little charade. Charade. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl. I'm a brave girl because I'm very confused right Thanks. now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promise Sansa I don't I get why that would night. piss Marjorie Three off. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yeah, I really don't like the backgrounds in some of these scenes. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white Ooh, cloak of his. Sarah. Uh, what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. When he his head's intact, handsome. that's for goddamn and sure. Quite passionate. From what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen, you northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Uh. Sir Bronn and... Sir Bronn, that is my favorite of the favorite. Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was... Rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? But what was the question? I don't know. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. 
something important. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets. I do not her. trust Sarah. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? All right, Sarah, my shut lady. the hell up. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within a week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. I feel like Sarah's gonna fuck everything up. take one minute um, grab a drink of water before we finish this up so bear with me be right back All right, apologies for that. We're all good now. Damn. That is some bad luck. Seven. Uh oh. Let's play a little game. 
Shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. Is that actually the uh full enough practice? The voice actor? But you make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the warden of the north. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Did they? Uh, it almost feels like they didn't have the likeness or like the rights for Ramsey. Doesn't I feel like that doesn't look anything like him? Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. And maybe it's my headphones I have on, but it doesn't really sound like him either to me. But I could just be delirious. Entertaining sight at the very least. Bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's an accurate response. Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Big Lord Dick. Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Hmm. I hope I have some good options. I want this guy to be my sentinel. Lord Ethan. Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Yeah, but he's got great hair. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roiland said true? 
Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since oh. Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it I can't I just cut like one finger off, like a pinky place. off or something. Lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. It would be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, Just because I feel like it's going to piss everyone off, I'll do that. Lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. That was uh, actually... That was, a, that was an interesting decision to have to make there. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded. This will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. I hope. <laughs> Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. So it's Royland and... Duncan, I guess, that are looking for the job. Say, Lord Ethan. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. 
to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will halt, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Hmm. Thank you. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I Did knew she? Could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Trying to go in this tower. You're all worthless and weak. That was pretty pointless. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken Actually, lightly. Thank you, Duncan. Definitely gonna give it to Duncan advice. because I just I'm at your service, my do not like Royland, so. Whoa. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Mace Hortengren to do it at once. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. 
I will convene the small council at once. may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. Royland is done. He sucks. You, Screw that, dude. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods, Mira has asked Nobody to ever gets help. along in this it's shit, huh? Everyone just hates everyone heart. on some but level. We must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new Sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I have a strong feeling I'm this is going to go south and try for to me. Reach a Reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. <coughs> meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the great hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Royland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord. 
But you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. He just got stuck. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. <sighs> the, uh... The maester guy looks like... My lord, I one of the guys from Lord of the Rings. Many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule, and that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. That was convenient timing. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Nera, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Please don't repeat what you heard to anyone. Of course. I never would. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever need me. 
my lady. I'll leave you to talk. Uh oh. How is King Joffrey, my lady? As happy as ever. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Malaysia. Ah, isn't the coal boy. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. I like that guy. <laughs> so this has got to be the closing act. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. A man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. I guess it does sort of look Isn't like Ramsay just timber. his cheeks look a lot Not the place chubbier. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you. Warden no. of the That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. 
Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this. Ramsey is both frightening and ab absurdly ah. interesting as a character, oh, huh? Lord Ramsey? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not be. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills done? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the oh, next 50 snap. generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace and make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. That's. Do make this visit. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just 
about the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You will come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? <laughs> Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? I saw that coming from three miles away. What have you done? But I don't want to. He sized up the little brother just so he could kill me and put that one in charge. Luckily, my boy Asher's coming. Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end on. Take the boy at your wall. No! Kill him. Thank you for any trouble. Brian. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Please. Stop! Don't let him take me! Oh, let him go! Stop that! No, please! Brian, please. Stop it! Bring up the ride! Do something! Ethan? I feel like for as much bad shit as the Starks have happened to them, the Foresters just got a pretty shit hand in like a 24-hour period. That sucks. All right, let's check out this little teaser. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me the Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again. Our house I assume that was not. Asher they just showed. We will be ready. He looks like a fucking Nothing badass. Nothing comes so. a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Cool. That was super well done. I like that a lot. Uh, I guess a lot of people were down to go with the king cool all right well that is the end of that so thanks everyone uh who tuned in i hope y'all had as much fun as i did and i'm sure we will continue this with the second episode when that comes out so once again i'm ray from entertainmentbuddha.com um head over to the website check out some of the stuff i know we have another full playthrough of this episode up from matt our editor-in-chief so i'm sure that i'm gonna go watch that see how different it was from the shit i just did uh and then there's a lot of other great stuff on the site this week so uh stop by and uh thanks again have a good night